this is ethereal eons activation and if you're new to the channel i'm leslie demai everyone else welcome back it's late here in costa rica but i'm coming to you with an important message and the question of our npcs or autopilot vessels as i call them beginning to wake up you know this feels like another pandemic to me we aren't even two months not even 60 days into 2023 and World War III talks have moved the doomsday clock 90 seconds to midnight. Ancient prophecies are coming into fruition and the governments are priming all of the public uh, with the UFO accounts. The straight lies and withholding of truth is all in attempts to solidify their agendas aka timelines into your reality so these ancient hollowed beings these soulless creatures will do anything to stay in power and what they require the most what sustains them the longest and the strongest is the soul harvesting in the realm as so i thought this was the best time to bring up um, soul harvesting and energy harvesting and how to protect your own soul. If any of this is bringing up fear in you, understand it's only because you're not in your full power and you still have fear-based programs. So this is not fear porn. I'm simply bringing up what's happening in the reality according to my perspective. So you can have yours. This is my channel and my perspective. If you agree with any of this, if you get what I'm saying, amazing and if not all i'm here to do is just let you know what someone whose energy is being harvested what their typical behaviors are and how they go about doing this so what i've been noticing in the last few months especially is that the npcs are beginning to think that they are awake it's it's now mainstream to talk about the matrix holographic reality. It's becoming common jargon with NPCs to talk about some occult things, to talk about conspiracy things. And it's almost like a robot. And it, this is actually happening as well. It's like the robots who are beginning to think they have souls. While you're busy online going down these rabbit holes on TikTok or Instagram or things of this nature, what's happening is that you are directly being manipulated and distracted by algorithm program that you are programmed by to distract you from actually discovering your own soul. And so people think they're filling up their minds with new perspectives and knowledge when this is all being done purposely. The reason why you are talking about these things, this goes for people who haven't done the inner work. The reason why you are talking about these things is because uh, it was designed for you to talk about these things in such a way. Okay, don't get me wrong. You know, the dark occultists, the dark forces, their, their prism is starting to collapse. So they're getting called out more often. But whatever you're seeing online on these mainstream platforms are being kept up there on purpose. So we have a society of people following the blind one swipe at a time. So they're just. And meanwhile, they might talk about certain things like MK Ultra and all of this type of stuff, but they're still believing in politics and they're still believing in sports and they're still idolizing celebrities and they don't know them own selves on a soul level at all. And it's getting really crazy out there. There is a recent push of uh, the UFO and conspiracy posts flooding the media outlets. And it's very easy to spend hours of your day consuming the content. So stop thinking that the soul harvest is only going to come at your death or it's going to come from the heavens because guess what? The soul harvest has been here all along. It's coming from your black portal and the streams you are sinking yourself with on there. These are Archon energies. If you are not counterbalancing these Archon energies um, and mainly consuming that, your energy will be harvested. If you're still watching and subscribing to mainstream media outlets on a regular, believing what you hear 
and thinking that sure the government's kind of bad that maybe they'll come to the rescue they would couldn't possibly you know massacre their own people um you will be harvested if you're more in touch with your ai than the sophionic energies of the realm your energy will be harvested you don't know how many people come to me telling me how guilty and ashamed they feel because they spent too much time on social media. There are serious social media addictions out there and dependencies out there. And it's sick and neat because we talk about the egotistical culture, the narcissistical culture, the narcissist culture on social media, the fake culture. Think about it. You got fake people with filters everywhere and mimicking voices, mimicking dances. We got a bunch of puppets. And that's the Archon energy. So you are selling your soul out in exchange to their dimensions when you're consuming visually and etherically when you swipe on your black mirror this way. It's it's swiping unconsciously. So don't sub so don't subscribe to anyone but you first. Stop subscribing to this person and that person. Stop following, 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 you know, all of this stuff. Stop caring how many followers you have. It's like subscribe to you, right? And so everyone in the realm has been highly brainwashed. And I know because I speak from experience too, you know, I, I've done so many things where it was totally just following, um, you know, trends and all of that stuff. And listen, I spent time down those rabbit holes. I used to be, I had a social media digital management company where I was managing the, the top, the top accounts on YouTube. And I get that there's a business behind it as well, but I'd say the ones that are truly having businesses online and doing something to offer a service to another person, it's just so minuscule now compared to what we're seeing, compared to the trash we are seeing. So what's happening is that this trash content is brainwashing the new socially acceptable talk topics that people are talking about now. Like, again, I said, MK Ultra, all of this is mainstream and it's great. People need to know what's going on, but do they know their own souls? And do they understand that they are actually being, they, that they are surrounded most likely by heavily brainwashed individuals? The MK Ultra, that's one, that's one affair that the CIA, right, came up with and, and delivered and executed, right? The MK Ultra program. However, the rest of humanity has been MK Ultra in their own way. They're heavily, heavily, heavily medicated, sedated, and brainwashed simply by being uh, in a society, okay? So they're born into this cult, sure, and they're heavily brainwashed to where there's no way to unravel that for 99% of people. It's just it's just not going to happen that way unless you physically remove yourself and, and you take you know, the steps towards spiritual sovereignty and emotional sovereignty. But I highly doubt that these people have time to do that because they're too busy scrolling and keeping up with what's going on next. So the soulless beast system posse, they have been contained here because they have an narcotic virus that is not allowed to leave these dimensions. They are limited to certain dimensions. And so do you see how these lunatics, lunar ticks, right? If you're still following the moon and thinking, oh, holy moon, then pfft, you got it. Come on. You know, so it's like these archons are trapped here and they are still trying in the most creative way they can possibly come up with to keep everyone um, brainwashed. What they depend on is unawakened souls following their timeline. And if you're not in your own timeline, your energy will be harvested. So something else I noticed throughout the new age community, while most people say they realize now that organized religion is a complete hoax that doesn't mean that you're awake okay that doesn't mean that you're awakened to your own divine power okay it's as if we are all one is their new religion that is their new religion and that ain't gonna cut it so you will be assimilated if you keep saying you're all one you will be assimilated to the frequencies that you're in so be advised that unless you're really evolving and transcending to higher states you're not keep on you're not going to just going to regurgitate we are one okay that is a spell within its own and so sage and palo santo we use it every day in my household but that ain't going to cut it 
either. <laughs> Don't think just because you're saying we are one and you got Sage and pa- Palo Santo burning because that ain't going to cut it. So I understand we are all on different paths and it doesn't look the same for everyone. Listen, I've taken the wrong path so many times. Um, so I'm not calling out a specific individual whatsoever. This is just becoming the new norm and it leaves more people disconnected than ever. And the beast system is orchestrating this confusion within the spiritual communities. So some think that they're on the right path all the while they're still following, uh, they're still following their someone else's path. And that's the biggest point of all. So the laziness and delaying of evolving your consciousness through emotional, emotional and spiritual sovereignty with and divine intelligence, delaying that is going to harvest your energy. So this should push you more than ever to seek the connection with your own soul and spirit. Um, You carry the divine intelligence within you. So anything else uh, that's counteractive that is going to harvest your energy. Anything that's going to build upon that and bring you to an, an estate, into a state where you are consciously evolving up is not going to it's just that simple there are too many distractions and that's what this all is this is all one big distraction again they have cast the net don't take the bait only way any of this is going to happen there's so much fear going out it's like this is happening we think it might be this we think it might be that possibly this will this be it All it's doing is letting you know what they want to happen so that you repeat it, believe it, and with your magical abilities will manifest it. But it won't happen if you stay clear of these streams of information and go within yourself to rediscover your own divine intelligence. So stay tuned as I'm going to have a two-part video on your soul and your spirit. What is the difference between your soul, your spirit? Also, soul fragmentation, soul retrieval. Okay, these are concepts we need to start diving into now because we've already talked about the soul harvesting and it's already here. So it's time to now move forward in our spiritual development. Check out the links in my description and catch my video next Friday. So make sure you hit the bell notification. I have my one-on-one classes still on sale till the end of the month for 25% off. And if you're ready to fully commit and take the path to spiritual and emotional sovereignty, check out my link for my one-on-one coaching. Thank you so much. And I will see you soon.